friends. Welcome back to Redgate Ranch Homestead. I appreciate you stopping by today. I've been busy in the kitchen and I made some oatmeal cranberry cookies. They are so yummy. I love making these. My neighbors, Gabe and his lovely wife, Adrian, made sure that I had plenty of cucumbers this year out of their garden so that I could make some sweet pickles and I appreciated it so much. I made them a chocolate pie, but now I'm gonna surprise them with some oatmeal cookies. Gabe just happened to mention to me that oatmeal cookies are his favorite. So if you're watching Gabe and Adrian, these are for you. So come along with me and I'll show you how we're gonna make these. The first thing we're gonna to do to make our oatmeal cookies is we're gonna take our butter and we're going to whip that up in the mixer and you need one stick plus six tablespoons of softened butter Next, we're going to put in our sugars, and we need one half cup of packed brown sugar and one half cup of granulated sugar. And we're going to blend those together. We're going to scrape that down. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Next, we're going to put in our eggs one at a time. And we need one teaspoon of good vanilla. Okay, now we're going to sift our dry ingredients together. And we need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to blend this in the wet ingredients about a third at a time. Okay, we're gonna scrape down our bowl. Next, we're going to put in three cups of uncooked oatmeal. And you can use a uh, quick one minute or you can use old fashioned. I prefer old fashioned. Uh, it gives it a little chewier taste as when the cookie is baked, but you can use either one. That'll be fine. Now, this is going to tax my mixer. It it's, makes it a very thick dough. So, um, we're just going to add a little bit at a time. Okay. I think that looks good. Uh, look at all of that cookie dough. Now we're going to dig down in this bowl and make sure the very bottom got blended in well. Okay, that's a pretty stiff dough. Now... You can add chocolate chips here. You can add pecans. Uh, I'm going to add cranberries today so it'll have a little Christmassy look. I've got a six ounce bag of dried cranberries. I'm just going to put all of those in there. But like I said, you could also add a cup of chocolate chips, a cup of chopped pecans, and you can dress this up any way you want to. But 
we're using cranberries today. You could also use uh, raisins, but we're using cranberries because it's Christmas time and we want Christmas time oatmeal cookies. And these are really good for your health because it helps build up your muscles because this is a stiff dough. I can feel my muscles growing as I stir. <laughs> okay, I'd like you to meet somebody. This is thunder and this is lightning. <laughs> okay, now we're going to roll these out and put them on a baking sheet at 350 degrees and we'll bake our cookies for about 8 to 10 minutes. these look delicious. You can make ordinary oatmeal cookies into something for Christmas just by adding some cranberries. I think they're going to be yummy. Well, the cookies are all done and the kitchen smells beautiful. The cinnamon, the oatmeal, it's definitely a holiday smell. And I hope you'll try this recipe. They're really yummy. You can make your cookies as small or as large as you want. I like to make my cookies in two bite size cookies, two bites. Some of them might be three or four, but a glass of cold milk with these warm cookies will be great. I'm going to share these with some of my sweet neighbors. It's the holidays and I think they'll be surprised when they get a little homemade baked goodie bag from Miss Margie. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, I'm sending love and hugs and wishing you good health and a joyous season. Remember the reason for this season. And until next time, y'all, I'll be here at Redgate Ranch Homestead. Bye, y'all.